The 747 model 123 is similar with the exception of the galleys. This aircraft has lower lobe galleys. Above the forward galley is the service center area. Here you'll find a stowage area for three carts, coffee makers similar to those on our DC-10s, and miscellaneous stowage. Many of the supplies you'll need in flight are located here. Across from the service center is the phone to the lower galley. Just pick it up, push the button, and you'll be heard below. Also located across from the service center are the lift controls. The cart lift can only be operated from below. Stepping into the personnel lift, we have controls for up and down movement. As an added safety feature, you control movement and can stop the lift instantly by releasing the directional buttons. Additionally, you'll find an override switch in case the other controls are inoperative. Downstairs, outside the personnel lift, is the phone to the service center. Just press this button to signal upstairs. Above is the lift emergency stop button and the up and down controls for the personnel lift. With the personnel lift in the up position, you can reach the master power switch. You must turn the power off if you want to reach the additional stowage area behind the lift. Never enter this area without taking this action. The cart lift is next to the personnel lift. It's an open platform that raises the cart topside. A halo operates a micro switch that allows the lift to operate. It also reminds you not to stack items higher than the halo. The cart lift controls are here. Remember to operate the controls away from the cart lift to ensure it doesn't come down on you or someone else. On the side of the cart lift shaft is a ladder, your second escape route out of the galley, your primary route always being the personnel lift. Across the galley next to the jump seat is the cabin interphone. On the nearby panel is a low airflow indicator, which you can press to test. Don't enter the galley if this light is on. If it should ever come on, while in flight, immediately leave the galley. Also located on this panel are your galley lighting controls, and a floor heating control that allows the galley attendant to adjust the level for their comfort. Just below is the galley sink. Located to the right, is a Halon fire extinguisher and the foothold for access to the escape hatch. This horn above the Halon alerts you to a cabin deep compression. Just press the red button to turn off the horn. An oxygen bottle, smoke combat unit, first aid kit, and the escape hatch are located here. Below the escape hatch is the load shedding panel. When too much power is used, it shuts down certain functions and tells the galley attendant what to do to restore power. Above each oven are controls for time and temperature. These are similar to the DC-10. Another form of interdeck transport is the dumbwaiter that connects the main deck with the upper deck. Controls are on the stairwell module. Press down and the dumbwaiter is accessible. Press stow and it moves into the ceiling. The upper deck attendant must bring the dumbwaiter upstairs via controls on the lighting panel at the top of the stairs.